alternative choice. The university. I'd like to share with you how PAG started, how the whole idea started, how it progressed, and how it has brought us to where we are this morning. The idea of reviving what we consider the spirit of the vision of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah started in 2011. We had, we had then uh, two factions of the CPP in, in, in America. We had CPP USA and CPP North America. Two friends of mine, Dr. Emmanuel Kwe and Mr. Kwesibudu, uh, we um, tried to get some help from C the base, CPP headquarters in Accra, but the encouragement that we got was not all that encouraging. So, <laughs> so, so uh, I guess after a while the whole idea kind of fizzled out and um, we, 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 we took a, a recess. Um, we all got together and we started talking seriously. We decided to actually start the group and we named it uh, Concern in Group Minds. The only thing that may save Ghana from the steady downslide is if we are able to revive the spirit with which Kwame Nkrumah tackled the issues of Ghana, of building a nation. And I remember very well we had our very first meeting, we, we meet every week, we had our very first meeting uh, that was on the first Sunday of May 2015. And since then we've had all together 465 weekly meetings. You know, like last week I was reading about uh, uh, the, the, the rate of, of the fall of the city when they compare it to some of the other currencies. And all of them were negative, like, uh, I think uh, against the dollar is supposed to have fallen, what, 40 for something, 50% or something in a very, very short time. And everything is negative, minus, minus, minus. And I'm wondering, I said, ah, 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8, the, the answer should be positive. So anyway, what, what do I know? I, do, I don't know anything about math, so <laughs> that maybe there's something hidden in there. So what I'm saying is that I think we are at a point really where we have to come to our own rescue. Chairperson, Park, Dr. Olson. And I will make a self-disclosure here. When I was a graduate student, doctoral student, he took me into his arms and mentored me. And today I'm here also a full professor. Thank you so much for all what you do. Dr. Olson has engaged in extensive volunteer work in medical practice and medical education in Ghana. House, let us welcome Dr. Eason with a resounding applause. So it gives me great pleasure, fellow citizens, to take advantage of this privilege of a short period of time to address you today at this historic launch of the Progressive Alliance for Ghana as a fully accredited political party during this very significant political season in the life of our country. The human rights of Ghanaians have been under stress during the last seven years, and many have felt unease about the future. 
It is almost impossible to run a business in this country. If we earn the vote, we do not plan to have a government of more than 14 key ministries. There will be no regional ministers, nor deputy regional ministers. And numerous ministries will be relocated to parts of the country that are relevant for the work of those ministries. We intend to place at least a two-year ban or moratorium on Galamsey. We intend to do this because we are actually destroying what God has given us. And there could be no greater sin than that in any religion. There are many other areas of concern, including looking for the 11,000 kilometers of road that apparently have been built by this government. Have you seen any new roads? But they say they've built 11,000 kilometers. So I'm also inviting anyone who has pictures of the new roads to send them to us at BAG because we are looking for those roads. In the past year, I traveled from the coast all the way up to Moni in the north, and I did not pass on any new roads. None. I passed on potholes and dodged potholes and craters all the way from here through Kumasi, Techiman, Wenchi, all the way up and back down via Kintampo. The road from Tamale to Kintampo was a good one. That was the exception. So, infrastructure should occur also in relation, in my mind, to access to healthcare facilities and well-preserved tourist sites to promote healthcare and to invest in what we have. We will be fully implementing serious reindustrialization in this country on the basis of a sound, modern agricultural policy. PAG cannot support this level of benefits of servants of the country. You know, it is very interesting. We look for talent around the world, but what talent do we look for? If you are a football player, with West Ham or Manchester United or something like that, we will find you and we will make you come and play for the Black Stars. We will. That's what we do right now. But if you are Ghanaian, talented in some other fields, like the sciences, literature, industry, arts, culture, and many aspects of Ghanaian life, nobody comes to look for you. So if you are living outside Ghana and you want to contribute, you have to learn to play football. Encourage all young voters, 45 years and under, to take a very close look at PAG because we are the party with a plan to protect and secure the future of young people in Ghana. Thank you kindly for this opportunity and I look forward to future opportunities to have conversations with all Ghanaians about the future of our country. I invite you to give Dr. Pippi a very, very warm welcome. Thank you so much for the introduction and thank you for inviting me to this place. A moment came when I became convinced that as I watched our nation go from one government to the other and to the next it seems to be a musical chairs from one of the part two, between the two major parties. Uh, but we seem to be actually heading in the opposite, in the wrong direction. If they said anybody who's talking about 40,000, then virtually everybody is going to go. So they said, let's bring it to 20,000. Oh, sorry, they went, went up rather, 60,000. So they had to set a limit. If you stole, Above 60,000, you'll be dealt with. But if you still anything below that, you'll be, you'll be let to go to free. We tell us about the pervasive nature of this whole thing in uh, that country. I don't think it's very different from Ghana. But the leadership culture can aim to change that completely. The leadership culture must aim to change. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, in many ways, I'm anticipating for what is the best of the vision. But it's also the burial of decrepit politics. Um, 
I am both excited to be at the birth of something and also the burial of Alanda. <laughs> and the wisdom of the politics of the Fourth Republic is that instead of admitting that the boss is dead, we tell ourselves that maybe there are more advanced strategies to deal with the dead boss. And so we buy for ourselves a stronger way. But maybe if you break it strong enough, the dead the dead boss will wake up. And at some point we tell ourselves, maybe we should change riders. If we change the one who's riding the horse, maybe the horse will wake up. I stand before you today, burdened by the dreams of the time past, of broken and fair promises. I am confident that the, even though the, the journey ahead is long and very challenging, that we are filled with enormous potential. And that I believe that I have the power, as you do, to transform this country. That we can create together a Ghana that stands as a set testament to the dreams of our forefathers and of our mothers. That when they visit on themselves that this century will produce Ghanaians, Ghanaians that are filled with courage and determination, that have solved the cares of poverty. But to do that, we must dismount the devil. We must embrace the British strategy. And we must forge together a path towards progress and prosperity. Thank you very much. Give him a round of applause now. One more time. Thank you so much. It's all of a bit. Thank you so much. 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 We are going to talk a little bit about the membership. The website is proalliancegh.org. When you go on the website, you will first see register. You'll see resident, and then you'll see diaspora. And when you see the two, if you are in Ghana, and if you are from Ghana, you go on the re resident. If you are in the diaspora, of course, you will go diaspora. And whichever region you are in, you need to contact somebody in the regional office. A number of things. Um, first, commitment of the members of the party. And second, organization. And communication between all the different aspects of the PAG global organization. I think people should be worried about us because, as they say, we'll come like a thief in the night. Well, Ghanaians need to understand that after 32 years of wasting their votes on NDC and NPP, there is now a credible alternative that is available to them that is committed to the core principles of democracy and will deliver not on promises but on what Ghanaians need. Um, I'm excited about today the inauguration of a new party called PAG, Progressive Alliance for Ghana. Uh, this is a new day for the youth um, to look up to an alternative party, uh, promote uh, multi-party democracy, give them opportunities to choose um, and based on um, the goals, principles and ideas that they have to develop this country because um, I think the country is not going the right direction and the youth need to um, participate. They have to be part of this. PAG, Forward Together, it's an honor to be here speaking to you today. One would ask, why not MPP? Why not NDC? Yes, we get that question a lot. But the question is, we've been left behind. Our country is in shambles. We are not part of the decision making and that is why we decided to join the Progressive Alliance for Ghana. They are including the youth in the decision making process of the country. Look at our ministers, look at the number of people we have up there. They are all old, the youth. How many youth can you count in the top places? So this is why we are joining PAG. PAG is including us in the decision making process. We are the future. We are moving forward together. PAG! Forward together! PAG! Forward together!
Hey yo.